Hi guys, what's up? Here with Evan. We're in our favorite parking lot spot to do some wheelies. I saw that one hander. Ooh. Um, we're making another wheelie video for you guys. This time though, we are going to teach you how to wheelie your Honda Grom. The fundamentals can be carried to any bike, but we figured we'd make a series of all the different wheelie variations on the Honda Grom. So all you guys have been asking for the Grom videos, this is it for you guys. And once you get the fundamentals down, you guys are gonna be able to learn all kinds of stuff. Combos, high chairs, death spins, stalls, scrapers, all kinds of stuff. All kinds of stuff. So we're going to cover the fundamentals for you guys. Let's get to it. And guys, we're going to pretty much be splitting it up into three separate series. This first series, we're going to be covering foot brake wheelies. So a lot of sit down variations, that thing right there. Uh, second series, we're going to be covering handbrake variations, which is that thing over there. And for the third series, we are going to be covering circle wheelies, which is pretty much the most advanced out of all of them. We're going to teach you all of them. All right, guys, the most important thing we're going to start off with to remember, especially with the Honda Grom, is we're going to keep our speed at about three to five miles per hour. Very slow. The faster you go, the more dangerous, the more chance you have of wrecking your bike and wrecking yourself. Evan's hurt himself. I've hurt myself. Lauren's hurt herself. And so yeah, keep that in mind. First step, three to five miles an hour. If it feels weird at first, stick with us. All right guys, and once you have your speed dialed right about idle, rolling nice and slow, as you can see Evan's doing, we're getting right back into the same thing if you've seen the other videos, which is a clutch up. You pull the clutch in, Give it some gas, let go of the clutch, the wheel's gonna pop up. It's very basic, it's gonna feel scary and weird at first, but once you can master that, you pretty much have the main part of a wheelie down. We'll have Evan do one really quick, just so you can see a third person angle. Clutch in, gas, clutch out. You can see the wheel comes up nice and smooth. So guys, remember, so far, three to five miles an hour, and after that, getting the wheel up is pretty much just this. Clutch in, give it some gas, clutch out. Pretty basic. And to remember guys, this is very simple. If the wheel's not coming up, give it more gas before you dump the clutch. If the wheel is terrifying you and coming up too fast, give it less gas. That's pretty much all there is to it, honestly. Okay guys, so so far, quick recap, which we probably don't even need yet, but we're gonna go three to five miles an hour. We're gonna work on mastering our clutch up, which is the clutch in, give it gas, clutch out. Once you get to that point, we also have to tie something else in here with the clutch up, specifically for the Honda Grom, which is these things are very light and they have really no power. So if you're leaning over the front of your bike and trying to clutch up on the Grom, the wheel is not gonna wanna come up. So keep in mind guys, there's two ways to do this. You can either just lean back and give it a crap ton of gas, That'll do the trick, but the proper way is kind of doing this pulling back motion to kind of assist the Grom in coming up. He's going to lean forward, and as soon as he gives it gas and dumps the clutch, he's going to throw himself back, and it's going to really throw that wheel off the ground pretty easy once you get used to it. You can see the over-exaggerated motion. Forward, clutch in, gas, clutch out, throw yourself back. And the Grom, the Grom's gonna wanna come up. It's a very light bike. So definitely keep that in mind. All right guys, so we're moving on to the next step. This is gonna be where you're actually starting to figure out how to wheelie. Um, honestly guys, the Grom's a perfect bike to learn to wheelie. So basically what we're gonna move on to now is how to give it gas to keep the wheel up and how to use the foot brake to keep you from dying and falling backwards. It sounds scary, but it's really not that bad on the Grom. We're going slow. So basically guys, we're gonna go back to the step we were just talking about where you get the clutch up, clutch in, gas, clutch out. Your wheel's gonna come up and then we are going to show you how to control the gas and control the foot brake to keep your wheelie going nice and smooth all the way across the parking lot. And one of the best techniques, guys, to learn your wheelies is what Evan's doing right here. You're pretty much gonna clutch up and practice, honestly, slamming your brake like that to keep it going back and forth, back and forth like a pendulum. It's gonna keep you balanced. Um, it's gonna be very unsmooth, just like that at first. It's gonna be choppy. You're not gonna know how to balance your throttle between your brake. As you can see, Evan's doing, it's real back and forth, back and forth. Because what he's doing is giving it gas, letting off the gas, and then he's also using his foot brake to keep it from going too far. And as you're learning, that's cool. That's gonna be normal, it's gonna be choppy, unsmooth. But as you move forward in the process, Evan's gonna show you here, you're gonna start getting the hang of when to give it more gas, when to give it more and less foot brake, and you're gonna be able to keep the wheelie pretty smooth and hold it right where you need it. As you can see, Evan has it down, he's got his foot brake working, he's got his throttle very smooth, barely moving at all. He's got it down, that is a solid wheelie. Once you're to that point, that's balance point, and you pretty much can wheelie as long as you want, honestly. And for some of you guys, if rolling is too scary to learn to wheelie, another good option of learning, and honestly this is even safer in my opinion, is starting from a dead stop. And what you're gonna do is have your left leg 
on the ground. You're gonna feel a little more stable and probably safe. Look at that leg, bro. So the whole idea here is what Evan's gonna do. He's gonna show us same technique. You're gonna clutch in, gas, and clutch out. Wheel's gonna come up, and you're gonna drag your foot on the ground for, when I was learning, it made me feel safer on the bike. Just, you don't wanna do this forever. This is a good way to learn, but you wanna definitely get to the point where you can take your foot off the ground and leave it on the bike and learn to keep the bike up like that. And something else to keep in mind, guys, specifically with the Groms, they're small, they really like to go left and right. So while you're learning, it is gonna kinda be tricky to keep it in a straight line. Just remember that's pretty normal, and with the Grom, little manipulations with your knees and arms really are gonna steer it where you want it. So just keep that in mind, especially on the Grom. Your body position, body weight is gonna really bring the Grom <laughs> wherever you want it to go. And one more very important thing, when you come down from your wheelie, it's pretty self-explanatory, but keep your handlebars straight. You don't want to come down with crooked bars and get thrown off the bike. We don't want to do that. <laughs> and another quick tip for learning to wheelie, this really could be used on any bike. If you're really having trouble staying in a straight line, lower that PSI in your bike. For everybody and every bike, honestly, it's gonna be slightly different. But if you wanna stay in a straight line and that's your struggle, just bring the PSI down, go try it out, and just until you find the right PSI to keep you straight. You don't want your tire flat. At least for the Grommy, keep it above about 15 PSI or so. I'd say that's a good number. That's what Evan says. And another thing to put out there for you guys, just to bring to your attention, as you're learning, odds are is you're going to drag your rear brake slightly. I'll get on this side of Evan so you can kind of get an idea again. Normally when you're learning, you feel like you're gonna fall backwards and you tend to just keep your brake constantly applied. I'd say that's pretty normal while learning, but just remember, as you progress, you wanna learn to take some pressure off that brake. Honestly, you wanna take all pressure off the brake until you're going too far back and then you just wanna tap it here and there. As you're learning, I'd say it's pretty normal though to drag the brake. Just keep that in mind. It can wear out your discs faster. You can also catch brake fade where your brake can pretty much just give out mid wheelie and we do not want that. One more thing guys, this is probably gonna be the last most important thing I'm gonna to have to bring to your attention is while you're learning to wheelie, if you start falling back too far, your natural tendency is gonna to wanna to be to do this, to take your feet off the pegs and put them onto the road to brace your fall. I'm telling you this right now, that is the worst thing you can do, worst idea. Your goal this whole time is to constantly keep your foot planted on your rear brake. If you're doing a left foot drag or whatever, that's fine, but you never, ever, ever wanna take your foot off of that brake. If you feel like you're going too far, slam the brake and it will pretty much always bring you back down. The brake is plenty strong right there. If you get scared of going too far, slam it just like Evan did. That'll save you every single time. So that's pretty much it guys. I'd say we covered that in about four steps or so. Um, I think it went pretty good. This is all for all you guys asking for Grom wheelie tutorials. First step, your speed. Make sure to go about three to five miles an hour. As long as you're going under 10 miles an hour, that's pushing it, but keep it definitely under 10 while you're learning on the Grom. Next step we covered was the basic clutch up. Clutch in, give it gas, clutch out. Guys, if the wheel's not coming up, you're just gonna have to give it more gas. That's just the way it goes. And next thing to help the wheel come up on the Grom, body position. You're really gonna wanna work on throwing your weight backwards. It's gonna really assist the wheel in coming up. And last but not least, we covered throttle control and brake control. Never ever forget your brake. In my opinion, it's more important than the throttle. But as time goes on, you're gonna learn how to balance the two out. Throttle on and off, brake on and off. You'll be at balance point before you know it. Have Evan show us how to do it one more time. Ooh. All right, guys, so thanks for watching. Next video, be ready to learn how to one-hand wheelie on the Honda Grom. That's probably what we're going to do because, honestly, that's the next most basic wheelie, I'd say. Pretty simple. That's going to be the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to like the video. Follow me and Evan on Instagram. And subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. Better recognize a king when he rapping with you. You hold suck, it's like you always bring a vacuum with you. Solid like a mannequin, but you ain't plastic, is you? Because if you got a bone to pick, I got a matching issue. Talking about me, then it got to be live.